You had a very interesting lecture, lecture here in uh, the 23rd Symposium. Would you like to tell us a few things about it? Yes, it was the um, Dutch Heart Foundation lecture. That's a, an, uh, an invited lecture. So it was a, a lecture that was trying to give an overview as to uh, where ultrasound contrast is going in the next uh, 10 years. That was what I was asked to talk about. And so, where is it going in the next few years? Uh, I mean, uh, it's already a very powerful tool, diagnostic tool. Yeah. And so, what are we going to see in the next decade? So, I think that the, the, the major changes that we're seeing are in both the uh, imaging technology. So, there's been a bit of a revolution in the past couple of years, reflected in the uh, many of the papers presented at this meeting, uh, mainly to do with plane wave imaging and super resolution imaging. So, the resolution, both in time and in space, of images from microbubbles has gone up by an order of magnitude. So now we're actually able to visualize by these localization techniques uh, the path of bubbles in extremely small vessels and possibly capillaries themselves. From the bubble perspective, uh, there are all kinds of new bubble constructs, and many people here have been pioneers in making bubbles that do uh, that are targeted to cellular and molecular entities, bubbles that are uh, designed to be sensitive to magnetism, and even we're going to hear about today um, a reporter gene bubble, the equivalent of what in biology is a luciferase reporter gene for optical microscopy. Uh, there, there's a possibility of an acoustic uh, version. But I think that uh, the main thing I was discussing was the fact that uh, the possibility of getting a new bubble construct approved in the next 10 years um, is actually rather low. And the reason for that is it takes somewhere between two and three billion dollars to bring a new drug from scientific concept to prescription market. And for that reason, it would be optimistic for us to base our plans for the future on, on a, a new drug being made. So most of the work's being done by combining existing drugs, existing contrast agents, and existing ultrasound technology. And most of that new and exciting work uh, has been and will continue to be in therapy, in sonoperation and drug delivery and gene delivery therapy.